violence erupting at several malls across the nation just one day after Christmas. Take a look at this video out of Manchester, Connecticut. You can hear people screaming, punches being thrown inside the shops at Buckland Hills. A large chase then ensues. Our affiliate in Hartford says one officer was assaulted. A mall in Fort Worth, Texas, put on lockdown following this massive fight involving over 100 middle school and high school students. Where are near their the parents? Food... Exactly <laughs> right. And, you know, maybe they should be in school. Officers had to go store to store to let people out once the lockdown was lifted. Okay, now take a look at Aurora, Illinois. This is the start of what evolved into a massive fight at Fox Valley Mall. Teenagers had to sprint down the stairs. After this fight breaks out, the mall was forced to close for the day. You know what it is? All, all these kids are off from right. school. So they've nothing got to nothing do. to do but exactly. do this. Oh, all right, so, and you're looking at the scene here at Beachwood Place Mall. This is in Ohio. The mall was actually put on lockdown following unfounded reports of an active shooter. Police say all this began after a fight broke out among teenagers in the food court. Panic at Hamilton Place Mall in Chattanooga, Tennessee. After police say teenagers set off fireworks, shoppers mistook the sound for gunshots. Several shoppers were hurt as they ran out. And the Aurora Town Mall in Colorado closing and evacuating everybody after several fights breaking out inside the mall involving at least 500 people. Wow. Police say it all began with a, a social media post promising a fight. And we haven't stopped yet. We've got more at Cross Creek Mall in Fayetteville, North Carolina. People forced to evacuate after a massive fight there broke out in the food court. Police say reports of a suspected gunman turned out to be false.